With this video, we're going to look at the basic operation of the transistor tester. If you have not assembled your kit, please click here for the circuit assembly video. Or please click here for the case assembly video. To do the initial calibration, use a couple of jump wires, connect pin 1 and 2 and 1 and 3. Push down on the rotary encoder to switch the device on. I push and hold for 2 seconds until the menu display. Rotate the knob until you have selected the self test. And then push down on the rotary encoder. The self test has now started. At test 4, remove the wire. When you see this message, insert the large ceramic capacitor you got with the kit, or any ceramic capacitor that's higher than 100 microfarad. And that's it, the calibration is now completed. If you remove the battery, you have to redo the calibration. And now let's have a look at the basic operation of this device. First I'm going to insert a transistor. And it's going to tell me what the emitter base and collector is and if it's a PNP or a NPN transistor. It also gives me the base and the cutoff voltage. Next we're going to test a resistor. It gives me the resistor value. And now we're going to test a diode. It gives me the polarity of the diode and the minimum operational amperage, voltage and capacitance. And now we're going to test an electrolytic capacitor. It gives me the ferrite and the ESR reading. To see what the ESR reading is supposed to be, please have a look at this chart. There is a link to it below. We're now going to test this LED. You can also test other devices like a thigh resistor and a MOSFET. Please see the manual in the link below. This LED gave me its operational voltage, capacitance and polarity. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you do choose to build this kit, I hope it works. Goodbye.